Yo! What's up, everybody? It's Superfly Fat Guy, A59, coming at you again. And I'm coming at you with episode 10 of Knives Caught on Screen. Uh, it's been, it's actually been like a month since I did this last video, and I said it wouldn't be that long, so I apologize for that. Um, so basically what this is, uh, I watch a lot of movies here at the computer, and when I'm watching the movie, if I catch a knife that's in the movie or whatever, um, if I know that I can identify it, I go ahead and take a picture of it, uh, I identify it, and I save it to a folder, when I get a certain amount of them, I do a video. So that's kind of where it works, or how it works. So, um, the first one we'll go ahead and start with, this one. And that is from the movie Assassination Games. And um, it's a fox throwing knife. Now, there's actually a set of them in the, in the movie. Um, but the, that's just a picture of the one. So, um, awesome movie. These are all great movies. Um, let's see. Yeah, they're all, they're all good movies. There is one that's okay. But uh, I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, the next one we have, this one. And that's also from Assassination Games, uh, but I don't know what kind of, I don't know what it is. Um, there's a lot of distinctive marks on it. Um, the handguard being only uh, on the one side there, instead of like a, a double-sided handguard. Um, you know, the shape of the handle, uh, the fuller that's in the blade, stuff like that. I know that it's not like, you know, one of the Winchesters from Walmart or something like that. But as far as like uh, what maker it is, I have no clue. I couldn't, I could not figure it out. I searched for a long time, couldn't find it. So uh, that's a mystery. <laughs> and here, here's the next one. And uh, that is from a movie called Carla. And this is the movie that's it's all right. It's not great. It's not, um, you know, it's not awesome or anything like that. But it's a decent movie uh, if you want to check it out. It's kind of weird, but whatever. But obviously, the knife in the in the picture is the Buck 119. Uh, great knife, tried and true, tested and and you know over I don't even know how long, 30 years or something. It's been around for a long time, even, maybe even more than that. But um, great, great knife. And the next one, this one. And that's uh, from the movie Ride Along, which is hilarious. You have to see it. It's it's a hilarious movie. If you're a Kevin Hart fan at all, uh, highly recommended. It's a funny, funny movie. Anyway, that's um, the Ontario OKC Spec Plus SP15LSA. Um, I, I kind of assumed it was in Ontario just from the shape, uh, so I had to do a little research on that to find out which one it was. And that's the one that it came up, but that's a lot of, that's a lot of letters. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here's the next one. And that's from the same movie, Ride Along. And uh, that, that actually is one of the, um, the Winchester Bowies from, uh, from um, Walmart. Man, I had a brain fart there. Sorry about that. But uh, yeah, that's that's one of the Winchesters from uh, from Walmart. I you know I did a little research. I couldn't figure out what it was, but I was like, man, I know I've seen that before. And then finally, I um, I searched Winchester Bowie. Actually, I searched it on uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Works, and when it came up, it was instantly I knew which one it was. And the next one is this one, and that's from Soldiers of Fortune. It's actually not a. It's not a bad flick. Uh, it's you know it's okay. Again, it's not great. I would. I think it's better than Carla, <laughs> but um, but overall, it's you know it's it's a decent movie. These are all movies that are not all of them, but these are mostly movies that I watched on uh, Netflix. If anybody cares, <laughs> but the the um, the knife in, in that in that little uh, scene there is the Sog Seal Pup Elite. <clears throat> so. Um, and then the next one is not a knife, but uh, I just thought it was kind of cool, and it's this one. And that is from the movie Tactical Force, uh, as you can see with um, Stone Cold Steve Austin in it. 
and it was a Max Edition dump house that the chick is like kind of cuddling there, and I just thought it was really cool um, to see a Max Edition a Max Edition pack in a movie like that. So, and then last but not least, we have this one, and that is also from the movie Tactical Force, and it is a Microtech Halo. There's so many different flavors of the Microtech Halo. Um, but I know that's one of them, and I know it's got like the little holes cut out in the spine of the blade, but as far as like what that's called, I have no clue. So anyway, guys, that is episode 10. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, or if I was wrong on some of these, or all of them, I don't know, let me know down below. And everybody, take her easy.